Welcome to Australia Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Expect to see a lot more of Prince William after father's cancer diagnosis. Norman says record 59 gettable at LIV Golf Hong Kong Tournament. Australians will have right to disconnect, ignore after-hours calls from bosses. China's Chen and Chong win third straight world title in women's synchronized springboard. Former RCMP intelligence director Cameron Ortiz sentenced to 14 years for breaching secrets law. Expect to see a lot more of Prince William after father's cancer diagnosis. Washington Post. Prince William has returned to his royal duties after his father, Prince Charles, was diagnosed with cancer and his wife, Catherine, underwent abdominal surgery. As next in line to the throne, William is now the most senior royal representing the monarchy at official events. Kensington Palace and Buckingham Palace have said that William may step in for King Charles III if he needs to, with appropriate arrangements to be made if required. The British monarchy is not currently operating at full strength, with Prince William temporarily clearing his calendar to care for his wife. Charles has suspended public engagements but will continue with constitutional duties. Public-facing work is vital for the monarchy for demonstrating stability and maintaining relevance. The royal family is keen to stress continuity and stability and will continue with official engagements. Prince Harry has flown home from California to the UK and is expected to return to California after visiting his father. Prince Andrew remains in the royal wilderness after his association with disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein. Norman says record 59 gettable at LIV Golf Hong Kong Tournament. South China Morning Post. Greg Norman, CEO of LIV Golf, believes that a score of 59 could be achievable when the team competition comes to Hong Kong next month. Norman praised Joaquin Neiman for his score of 59 at the Mayakoba event in Mexico, suggesting that it could have been a 57. Norman believes that the lower scores are becoming more commonplace in professional golf and that the off-season had been beneficial to Neiman's game. Australians will have right to disconnect, ignore after-hours calls from bosses. South China Morning Post. Australia is set to introduce laws that will give workers the right to ignore calls and messages from their bosses outside work hours without penalty. The right to disconnect is part of a series of changes to industrial relations laws proposed by the federal government to protect workers' rights and restore work-life balance. Similar laws are already in place in France, Spain, and other EU countries. The legislation is expected to be introduced in Parliament later this week. However, some politicians, employer groups, and corporate leaders have warned that the provision is an overreach and could undermine flexible working and competitiveness. China's Chen and Chong win third straight world title in women's synchronized springboard. Associated Press. Chinese divers Chen Yiwen and Chang Yani won their third consecutive world title in the women's synchronized 3-meter springboard event at the World Aquatics Championships in Doha, Qatar. The duo scored a total of 323.43 points, earning China its fifth diving gold medal of the competition. In the women's open water races, Sharon van der Wendel of the Netherlands won the gold medal in the 5km event, while Logan Fontaine of France claimed the men's title. Chen and Chang will also be competing in the individual 3-meter event later in the competition. Former RCMP intelligence director Cameron Ortiz sentenced to 14 years for breaching secrets law. The Globe and Mail. Former RCMP intelligence director Cameron Ortiz has been sentenced to 14 years in prison for violating Canada's secrets law. Ortiz was found guilty of four counts of violating the Security of Information Act, as well as breach of trust and unauthorized use of a computer. The Crown had sought two consecutive sentences of 14 years, meaning a 28-year prison term. Ortiz will serve seven years, with the other seven years credited for pretrial custody. Ortiz, who has consistently maintained his innocence, jeopardized Canada and its Five Eyes intelligence-sharing alliance partners, according to Crown Prosecutor Judy Klewer. Can India's airports cope with rapid passenger growth? Deutsche Welle. The Indian government has allocated around $11 billion to build new airports and refurbish existing ones as the country seeks to become the world's third-largest aviation market. With 1.4 billion people, India is home to the fastest-growing air passenger market and is predicted to see its passenger traffic double in the next six years to 300 million by the end of 2030. The country has become the largest purchaser of aircraft after the US and China, with its fleet size set to grow from 713 to more than 2,000 over the next decade. King's absence from Commonwealth visits could cause headache for monarchy. Telegraph. King Charles III's cancer treatment may prevent him from making planned visits to Commonwealth realms, which could be problematic as calls to break ties with the British monarchy increase. The tours were seen as critical in terms of shoring up support for the monarchy, 
at a time when some Commonwealth members want to sever ties and remove the king as head of state. The Prince of Wales could stand in for his father on such trips, but his presence is not the same as that of the head of state. This could be damaging to the institution if the king is unable to travel. Is it safe to visit the Caribbean? Essential advice for holidaymakers. Telegraph. Travel advisories issued by the U.S. Department of State for Jamaica and the Bahamas have raised concerns about the safety of visiting the Caribbean. The advisory for Jamaica warns of violent crime and poor medical care, as well as frequent sexual assaults, including at all-inclusive resorts. The advisory for the Bahamas cites the threat of violent crime, particularly gang-on-gang -gang violence that primarily affects the local population, as well as shark attacks. The UK Foreign Office also provides travel advice for both destinations, highlighting high crime rates in certain areas and advising visitors to avoid venturing outside main tourist areas and beaches. However, neither body has issued a blanket warning suggesting that it is unsafe to travel to the Caribbean region. Travel advisories are official government guidance to citizens on traveling abroad, covering safety, entry protocols, health, and local customs. The US advisories have not affected business for UK tour operators sending clients to the Caribbean, according to Paul Cleary, CEO of Carib Tours. Cap Masterclass at North Sydney as South African women beat Australia in second ODI. ABC. Australia suffered a second consecutive loss to South Africa in a women's one-day international, ODI, match. The hosts dropped five catches and experienced a batting collapse, resulting in an 84-run loss. This defeat sends the three-match series to a decider on Saturday. Marizan Cap, who starred with bat and ball, helped South Africa secure their first-ever ODI victory against Australia. The match was affected by rain, with Australia falling to 8-71 to before a partnership between Ash Gardner and Kim Garth gave the hosts hope. However, they were eventually bundled out for 149. Olympic women's basketball qualifiers set to begin around the world. Associated Press. The US and France have already qualified for the Paris Olympics in women's basketball, and the remaining 10 spots will be decided in four qualifying tournaments. Belgium, China, Hungary, and Brazil will each host four teams in a round-robin format. The top three teams in Brazil and Hungary will advance to the Olympics, while in Belgium and China, the top two teams, other than the US and France, will qualify. The U.S. team sent a roster filled with WNBA players, while some teams in Brazil have college players on their rosters. Nigeria and Senegal will play on the opening night in Belgium, with the winner likely becoming the Olympic representative for Africa. Germany is also trying to earn its first trip to the Olympics in women's basketball. Kohli unlikely to play any part in England-India series. Telegraph. Indian cricket captain Virat Kohli is expected to miss the next two tests against England and may even miss the rest of the series. Kohli missed the first two tests for personal reasons, and his absence has been felt by the Indian team. England may also face an India side in Rajkot without Jasper Bumrah, as the selectors are considering resting him. Bumrah has been the standout bowler of the series so far, and resting him would be a gamble for India. However, they want him fully fit for the fifth test in Dharamsala, which is likely to have a seam-friendly surface. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.